In today's Climate Watch, we are tracking the emergence of billions of cicadas. It started in Georgia back in April and has now spread north as far as southern Wisconsin. Two broods of these cicadas now cover about 16 states in the southeast and midwest. But as senior national and environmental correspondent Ben Tracy shows us, climate change may be messing with the bugs' internal alarm clocks. There's nothing like it. It's just like, wow, is this what we're watching in front of our eyes? Christy Shirley can't get enough of the sudden cicada invasion near her home in southern Illinois. Thank God we kind of know what's going on here because if we really didn't know what this was all about, this would be scary. Oh yes, someone would think that zombies would be next. <laughs> <laughs> the arrival of these rather unique looking bugs that crawl out of the ground and up into the trees was quite predictable. Periodical cicadas have emerged like clockwork every 13 or 17 years, depending on their brood. It's been about as easy as astronomers predicting a solar eclipse. Now we're seeing periodical cicadas coming out of the ground predicted by entomologists. At a time when people have lost faith in science, this shows that science works and we get it right. I was here in 1990. Biologist Gene Kritsky has been studying cicadas for decades. We caught up with him at the Field Museum in Chicago. I mean, it is a way that we really do tell time. Like I can think back to being in Ohio in the early 2000s when there was a big emergence. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't tell you the year. I'll bet it was 2004. Okay, that sounds right. But Kritsky says climate change may be changing the cicadas timing. Scientists believe they count years through the changes in fluid flow in tree roots. And when their year to emerge arrives, they stay underground until the soil temperature reaches 64 degrees. But on our warming planet, precipitation patterns are changing. Spring is also arriving earlier, and so are the cicadas. Showing up in Georgia last month, nearly two weeks ahead of schedule. Do I have a cicada on my back? Yes, you do. Uh, oh, it was a big one. It was a, a neotridesum. <laughs> Kritsky found the same thing happening around Cincinnati. And before 1940, the average date was the 28th, 29th of May. In 2021, they emerged 11 days, almost two weeks earlier. This is true for Baltimore, for Washington, for Philadelphia, for Indianapolis. Zones are moving north and the cicadas are responding. In 2017, a brood of 17-year cicadas arrived years ahead of schedule, making these normally punctual insects a bit more unpredictable. But once they do appear, cicadas live for just a few weeks and have only one thing on their little minds, making sure their species survives. So it sounds kind of crass, but this is just kind of like one big sex party. These oh, things yeah. are here for that. Oh yes, it's a gigantic cicada singles bar. <laughs> That's a nicer way of saying it. For CBS Mornings, I'm Ben Tracy in Charleston, Illinois.